So, what's up YouTubers? Uh, today we have a preview or a review and test of the Vigilant. The Vigilant like new car that has come. It's like the Batmobile basically. Uh, it has everything that the Batmobile uh, has. It looks like it. I think it's the old version of the Batmobile. You got the engine in front here. Uh, we're gonna pop the doors, guys, just to see how. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna try to, yeah, pop the doors and see if something opens. Yeah, so we pop the doors, and as you can see here in first person, I'm gonna get rid of my. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of my gun and to get so. so as you can see, it's a kind of a true replica of the Batmobile. It has a system there, like with the fucking map and everything. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then we can take it for test drive. Uh, we can also take the cost of it. Right now, it cost. Uh, let's see here. It's on the Warstock page, and it costs three point seven fifty million. Three million seven hundred fifty thousand. That's like a huge fucking cost for this car. <laughs> uh, I tried out the car, as you can see. It has it. It's at boost like this. It's pretty fast. I wouldn't say it's the fastest. Like it's. I think it's worse than the Rocket Voltic. The boost, I mean. The handling is like. Like the Bombushka, basically. The handling is kind of bad on it. It has the like the gun. As you can see, two like miniguns in front. Uh, we can try it out on a car as I usually do on this airfield to see how long it takes before it like catches fire. So let's say you hit the front of a car. Yeah, so I mean on a regular car it's pretty effective, I like the gun. And th that was burning before, so... Yeah, so you can see it's pretty good, uh, the machine gun. You have the missiles. And that's basically just missiles. We're gonna see if it's unli unlimited missiles on this. I haven't figured that out yet, if it's unlimited. Uh, we are gonna see... Let's see... I'm gonna fire off some missiles just to see how how much we have that was like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27, 28, 30 I'm gonna count up to 40 and see if it's uh, still got muscles So basically I fired off forward it to something missiles. So it's kind of amazing because then it, it must be unlimited uh No, so guys this bat car has like fifty missiles probably around forty five missiles just so we know before buying it. And then you're out of it. Then you have to order it again I guess. Uh so should I make a statement on this car and what I think? It's cool that it's the Batmobile. I think it's way overpriced, guys. Uh, like, if you spec this up like I did with all the shit, you, you're looking around four or five millions for like one one car that isn't really fast. It has missiles and a machine gun, but compared to a presser that can take every everywhere. <laughs> As I usually say in my video, I think it's a no-no for the people that don't have the money. It's a yes-yes for the people that want the retro Batman vehicle for some reason. Uh, the useness of it is never going to beat out the buzzard or the hide or anything that... It's just cool. It's a cool factor. And the armor, we can end this video by testing the armor, guys. Uh, let's see... We can just throw a stick. Yeah, I think it's going to blow up. I tried this before in one. We can see. We can see. 
Yeah, so basically, you have no armor. This is fully upgraded with armor. So this one sticky, that's pretty bad. For the Batmobile, that should take like fucking six rockets or something. Uh, not really good. So, uh, it's both up and downs with this. Uh, it's really the only up thing I see with this Batmobile is that it it's a Batmobile. It's like a cool Batmobile, but other than that, it really has nothing to offer compared to anything else. Uh, forms of like armor or shit but this was my opinion on this car uh, give it a thumbs up this video and like it helped me out on my channel if you like it of course but I see you all guys uh, later and please subscribe and see you guys peace